Hey guys, it's John. You're on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel. Today's video is going to require that you've got a little bit of background in terms of the way that I climb. We're going to be using some terms like DSRT and SRT and hitch climbing or an alternating anchor method. And so I need you to be familiar with those terms. The first place you should always go for information is my website, jrbtreeclimbing.com, to help put these pieces together. Today I'm going to be talking about the way that I put together a climbing system and a climbing system that can be used with multiple methods. Very soon, Ape Canyon Outfitters will be offering kits where you can buy a 80-foot, 60-foot, or a 40-foot system. We're calling the 40-foot a basic system, the 60 is a hybrid, and the 80 as the universal. The more rope you buy, the more capability in terms of flexibility in climbing methods. Just to give you an idea, this is a 40-foot system. Here's a 60 foot system, and here's an 80. Now this is eight millimeter rope, so it'd be a little bigger in nine millimeter. Okay, I've laid out the system on the ground here just so there are no opportunities for confusion. On one end of the rope, I've got a JRB end loop and a rigging carabiner. It's not mandatory, but so handy for getting your rope into a tree quickly. And here's hitch one. It's the Longhorn Agile hitch configured with the stable finish and I used what I call the optimal amount of cord for this. See the page for the Longhorn Agile Hitch at jrbtreeclimbing.com for all those details. But it holds in the direction you see it. Load is placed here. We go a little further along. Well here's hitch two but it's upside down right because I've tied that one in the opposite direction. We're alternating the direction in which we tie the three hitches. Moving up a little further, there's hitch number three, and as you'd expect, it's configured in the same orientation as hitch number one. If you've got a sewn eye on the end of your rope, well, I like to have it on the end for hitch three, and I'll put an actual climbing carabiner on the end, which is there for emergency purposes. It's great as a gear hoist, and we can use it in creating certain anchors. And of course, the position of these three hitches, there's three, there's two, and there's one, the position of them on the line will vary depending on the climbing technique we're using. But if you use DSRT a lot, like I do, you won't have to move them very much. This is the way I do most of my climbing. The first hitch on the system is a Longhorn Agile Hitch in stable mode. What I want you to understand is as I put this up in the tree, the hitch, as I run it up, is facing downward. The three hitches in this system will all be facing opposite directions, so it's pretty, e pretty hard to mess it up in terms of, of building one. The next hitch in the system is going the opposite direction. And if I follow that line to the end, I've got one more hitch, and that's facing the end. So these three hitches are all the same. They're all the same hitch, but they're facing opposite directions. With the longer systems, the 80 and the 60 foot systems, we're capable of executing DSRT. And this hitch here isn't used unless we need to reposition ourselves. Let me go up just a few feet and show you what I mean. Okay, so as, let's just say I was a little bit higher. If I wanted to be on this side of the tree, but gravity is taking me on the other side, all I do is I take the other end, anchor it on the tree, and reposition myself. So this effectively becomes a tether if I want it to be on this side and not the other one. Because this is where gravity wants me. 
Okay, so what I've done here is I've tied a maverick hitch as if we were either stick climbing or hitch climbing any alternating anchor method so there's nothing on the end of the rope just the maverick hitch around the tree now I'm not going to extend my pole because I want to keep you here in eyesight so you understand when I climb towards that maverick I want a friction hitch that's headed in that direction this is the other end this is hitch three hitch three allows you to climb towards the end of the rope. So we execute that. We get on this. We climb to this point. We set our next stick or we set our next anchor and now we've got to put our next anchor on the tree. Well the other side of the system has got hitch one and hitch one's going the wrong way, right? So what do we do with hitch one? Well I simply slide it to the end. I simply stick it on the end. Sometimes I'll put an overhand knot here and not use it. It's benign. I advance my Maverick up the tree and guess what's further down on the system and you may need to slide things into place, right? You may need to slide it in, into place because it depends on what you did last. So here's the other hitch and it's holding in the direction I need it to hold. You just simply might need to slide it. When you're climbing DSRT, your hitches always tend to be roughly in the right spot. But if you're switching between methods, you may need to slide them, but not untie them. So there is hitch two. So what's the lesson so far? In DSRT, we use hitches one and two. In any alternating anchor method, we use hitches two and three. Okay, so this is the 60-foot system. Here's hitch one on the 60-foot system. And as per my recent video on using the Longhorn Agile hitch as a canopy anchor, this is when it comes in handy. It comes in handy when we're dealing with these kinds of systems. When we're not quite sure if our rope is long enough. So my plan is to climb this tree with DSRT. But I don't know. I don't know if that crotch is too high. I don't know if I have enough rope. And it turns out I just have enough. The two ends of my rope are just touching the ground. But it's easy to imagine what if that was just a little bit higher. If that was a little bit higher I would convert as per my recent video I would convert this Longhorn Agile hitch into an anchor. I form a double overhand stopper knot, slide the Longhorn Agile into place, straddle it, straddle the lines, Put on a carabiner, put my retrieval line on the end of the rope and send that up, right? You've seen that before. And then I could climb with this friction hitch. I didn't need to climb a friction, to tie a friction hitch. Okay, so here's the 40 foot system. Again, the same three hitches in the same direction. I happen to tie hitch one with a different color. Here's hitch, hitches two and three. These are the ones we would use for hitch climbing. One is facing towards the end of the rope. As I just showed you, we could anchor that on and climb there. Here's the other one that I, I could climb the opposite direction, but I'd have to push it all the way to the end. I'm going to take both of these and slide them towards the end. Why? 
because I'm going to be rigging this climb for SRT. We always climb DSRT if we can. If we can't climb DSRT, we climb SRT. This system's too short for anything but SRT. And our last choice is hitch climbing or stick climbing. The only knot I ever need to tie is the JRB bowline. I'll do that right now. Only thing I have to tie or untie on the short or shorter systems. The goal here is to minimize or eliminate knot tying in the woods. The longer system you get, the less of a chance that that will unfold. So that's the JRB Bowen. Here's the other end. As per my video on using the JRB Bowen as a canopy anchor, I'm going to have to pass this through my JRB Bowen in the middle of the air. Here's the JRB Bowen. And before this leaves me, I will attach my retrieval line, or we can use the other end of the power cord. Let's just do that. So follow this up, watch me thread the needle. Okay, so that's about as much as I'd like to cover in this introduction. If there's a lesson that you're taking from this, there is one configuration for our three Longhorn Agile hitches, and they, they go in opposite directions. They go right, left, right, depending on your orientation. And with that system, you can climb with many different techniques and methods. I will do a detailed video actually building a system once those kits are available from Ape Canyon Outfitters. The, the number of scenarios that I, I would have to describe here are, are too great to go over in one video, but all of the, those things like the Houdini Maverick or all of those systems I can execute on the system without tying or untying a friction hitch. The only time I might need to untie a friction hitch is frankly if the crotch is too narrow to get my friction hitch through or if I'm pulling one through a floating anchor. You've seen me climb a million times. Let's just have you watch me retrieve this. Okay, so there you have it, the three hitch system. I don't personally care which one you get. For me, it's always 60 or 80. I don't really find it to, to be worthwhile for the tiny little bit of extra rope I have to carry. The ability to climb DSRT in the majority of hunting situations is advantageous for me. There's a lot of advantages to DSRT. I can't go over them all here. They're all cited on the website. But that's the three hitch system and you can get yours at 8 Canyon Outfitters very soon. Thank you.